You may be thinking to yourself, I'm interested in getting a Gala Games node in order to earn Gala cryptocurrency and awesome NFTs for Townstar and Mirandas. But how do I do it? I don't have an extra computer to run it on, and I really don't want to run it on my laptop or something. Fortunately, there's an easy solution. In this video, I'll show you how to get your Gala Games node running on a Windows Virtual Private Server, or VPS. It's pretty easy to do, even if you use a Mac at home. Personally, I use PIVPS and have been quite happy with them. Let's see how it's done. First of all, I've got a link below this video to PIVPS. Once you click that, we can just go to the order form and we can choose this lowest end Windows VPS, which is only $6.99 a month. And we can choose where it's located. I'm gonna choose North America, USA, continue. All right, everything looks good here, so let's go to checkout. Now, the important thing to note here is that uh, for your payment method, you notice they have a whole ton of different payment methods. I recommend using PayPal, because if you do like a credit card or something like that, they'll make you jump through some additional hoops and it'll take longer to get things set up. And then you can click on complete order and they'll have it set up uh, pretty quickly. Once you get the email from them saying that they're all done setting things up on their side, we can go ahead and log into your server. If you're using a Mac at home, you'll need to download the Microsoft Remote Desktop software from the Mac App Store. On the website, click on this services box up here. And then um, I actually have two servers here, so I'm gonna name each of them. So Gala Node 1, and Gala Node 2, just so I know which one's which. Click on this Windows VPS link, which will get us to the page for that particular server. Then we're going to click on this Download and Connect RDP. And what this is gonna do is download a Microsoft Remote Desktop file that has all of our configurations in it. Launch the Microsoft Remote Desktop app. And we're not going to click on this Add PC button because that'll make you configure things manually. We're going to open that RDP file we just downloaded instead. So go to the Connections menu and choose Import RDP file. And let's get that imported. All right, so here it is. The one thing the file doesn't include, though, is the password. So let's go back to the website to grab our administrator password. Copy that. Uh, this little warning might or might not come up. If so, don't really worry about it. Let's get logged in. And there you go. We're all logged into our new Windows server. We need to do just one more thing to set up our VPS, and that's change the ID of the machine so that the Gala node sees it as its own system rather than just a clone of another one. To change the GUID, first we need to go to the Windows menu. And click on the search icon in the upper right. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and return. And this will bring up the registry editor. Once we got the registry editor, we'll go to the edit menu. Click on find. Type in machine GUID, all one word. And click find next. It may take a minute for it to come up. And then we want to right click on machine GUID. If you're using a remote desktop on a Mac, you can right click by clicking with two fingers on the trackpad. And then we click modify. And then we want to open up our web browser and go to guidgen.com and click on this Generate New GUID button. And then copy the results. Go back to our registry editor. Paste this in here. Click OK and close the registry editor. That's it. You don't need to restart the machine or anything like that for the changes to take effect. Now that we've got the server all set up, let's go ahead and get our Gala Games node. If you don't already have a Gala account, you can get one using the link below. Also, be sure to check out Gala Games' first game, Townstar. It's free to play and it's a lot of fun. 
Once you're all logged into your Gala Games account, I'm going to go to this Nodes tab, click on that, and then click on Get Node. And you can see by default, the node is priced in Gala. But I'm going to go ahead and switch that to Ethereum. That way I don't have to pay the extra transaction fee for swapping Ethereum for Gala. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually going to get two nodes. All right, looks good. Click on Buy Now. And confirmation looks good. So once again, click on Buy Now. So it's going to come up with this thing asking for your transfer code. You should have set that up when you set up your account. However, if for some reason you forgot it or need to reset it, you can do that right here. So enter our transfer code and submit. And there we go. Successfully purchased. Congratulations. You have your own node. Once that transaction goes through on the blockchain, you should get an email from Gala Games letting you know that your node is ready to set up. To set up your node, the first thing you want to do is log into Gala Games on the machine that you want to run the node on. In this case, is that Windows VPS machine we set up earlier. So under this left nav bar, click on My Nodes and click on Download. And once it's all downloaded, go ahead and launch the installer. Once it's installed, it'll ask for your Gala Games login. So go ahead and enter that, and there you go. Once you logged into your node, your node is all up and running. Okay, so our node is all up and running. Now what? The most important part of the node dashboard is the progress meter. In order to receive Gala cryptocurrency in the daily distribution, your node needs to be running at least six hours a day. This shows your progress towards that goal. Obviously, this one has already achieved it, as it's been active 17 hours and five minutes today already. And of course, since we're running this on a VPS, we can just leave our node running 24 seven. The Gala number up top is actually not how much Gala your node has earned, but it's just the Gala currently in your wallet. A section called blockchain updates can also be kind of confusing. First of all, by default, it's showing all Gala NFT transactions, not just yours. Okay, in that case, let's switch this My Items toggle. And wow, it looks like my node just earned me a crane bot, but sadly, this is not the case. This is simply the crane bot that I purchased the other day. The actual NFT rewards and Gala you get for running your nodes show up in your treasure chest, which is on the Gala Games website, not in your node. So let's head over there. The information we want is kind of scattered around. First, let's click on this globe thing in the upper right. This brings up an activity list that shows what's been going on in your Gala Games account including what you earned with your node. It's important to note that the Gala and NFTs you earn from your node are not automatically put in your wallet, but rather into what they call the treasure chest. So let's take a look at that. In your treasure chest, you see the Gala and NFTs that you've earned, but have not been minted onto the blockchain. You can choose which items you want to mint to your wallet, or as it says here, add to your inventory. The catch here is that in order to complete this transaction, you'll need to pay the Ethereum gas fee, which can sometimes be a bit much. Given that, I recommend only transferring stuff to your wallet when you really need it. Speaking of your wallet, let's go check that out. Again, it's called inventory here. In addition to seeing what's in our wallet, by clicking on Gala, we can get the information about the distribution for our node. Just basic info here. So let's click on Learn More. Now this is the information we were looking for. It shows how much Gala we earned in the last daily distribution, how many points we had in that distribution, in this case two, one for each node that was running at least six hours. And down here it shows any NFTs that you may have earned. In this case, a zip tie. The NFT distribution is random, so you probably won't always get one. It can be anything from this little zip tie, which is pretty common, to a rare building for Mirandas. I've been very happy with the nodes I've purchased, and I'm really excited about the future of Gala Games. I can't wait for Mirandas to come out. In the description below, I've included links to Gala Games and to PIVPS. Even if you're not ready to buy a node just yet, be sure to check out Townstar, which is free to play. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. For even more information about Gala Games nodes, 
check out galanodeguide.com.